The Christian Association of Nigeria can and don't call on the federal government made a declared in Mieti Alla Cattle Breeder Association as terrorist group. The president of Khan, Reverend Samson Ayokunle, for one word press conference inside Abuja for the clean of Reverend Lawan and Demi, when we say the Boko Haram terrorists do, he said Christians around the country don't continue to receive the short end of the stick from armed groups when we say that they operate for most part of northern regions. Reverend Ayokunle, he says social cultural groups like the Mieti Alla Cattle Breeder Association, that they continue to throw away and when we say they make the, the empire, when we say they threaten the unity of the country. He called on the federal government to prove their commitment to the security of lives and property. And the way to do them, not to label the Mieti Alla Cattle Breeders Association as terrorist joint body. The attack being witnessed under the current administration appear to be unprecedented. Today, the killers are unleashing terror on selected Christian communities, while sometimes our security agencies appear to be looking in the other direction. The president of our nation has not ceased telling us that the criminals are coming from Libya, although Libya shares borders with Nigeria. As if that were not enough, the Mieti Allah, the Fulani men have claimed responsibility for the killings, for many of the killings justifying their actions. The federal government should either label the Mieti Allah, Fulani as you say, authorities organizations are being recorded in the terror index or call them to a permanent order, especially their continual boost of the act of terrorism which they have been committing. And they say they don't tell security to embody them, make them improve their capacity to build their ginger so that they can get the trust of the public and tackle insecurity palaver. This will happen for the International Workshop for Interagency Cooperation on Security, when we say the Ministry of Defense and Defense Headquarters do inside Abuja. The Minister of Interior, Raoul Faregbeshola, when we say the year say in a lack of trust and coordination, uh, they cause the Nigerian security architecture. It talks say those when we say they're in charge, supposed to do better security work to tackle crime through better collabo. Faregbeshola tells security join body. They say may they take advantage of the capacity when we say they grant for the plenty of security to embody them. This workshop certainly fits in into the broader agenda of the government towards repositioning and strengthening the nation's entire defense and security architecture and enabling the country to adequately cope with all prevailing and emerging security challenges. As Nigeria promote specialization through establishment of multiple services and agencies for enhanced skills and better coverage of operational domains. The various services and agencies must also integrate for real-time intelligence sharing, optimal utilization of resources, and enhanced operational efficiency. Unarguably, Interagency synergy will continue to be an imperative for effective management of a nation's defense and security. And Nigeria's case will not be an exception. For effective containment of the security challenges, we cannot overlook the need for leadership and synergy in the administration of our, man of our management of the resources which are institutional, material, and human that we deploy to neutralize the threats and their promoters. There cannot be any other way. We just must respect one another. We must seek to coordinate our activities. We must seek to collaborate. We must seek to cooperate. Security has become a core issue in national discourse in recent times. We are indeed facing new challenges with the changing dimensions of crime and criminal acts. We are dealing with insurgents, kidnapping, farmers through headers, clashes, armed robbery, armed banditry, and ritual killings, amongst others. 
There are three words. Cooperation, coordination, and collaboration. There's never too much of it. The more you get it, the more professional you become. The more you have it, the more you will enhance the security of the country. And remember that security today is not just the physical security. It will enhance people to go to farms so that you have food security. It will enhance people to be able to save money so that you can have hospital, you have health security. So a security is a human security. And with the cooperation, collaboration, and coordination, we will have that.